This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So about a week or two ago, you guys will remember, if of course you watched them, if you haven't, they'll pop up at the end of this video, with Mexico, they offered Andrew Ruiz Jr. an opportunity or invited him to fight on behalf of Mexico at next year's Olympic Games in Tokyo. And Andrew Ruiz Jr. said that, first of all, he would be honored to do so, but obviously it depends on his contractual obligations, etc., etc. And the very next day, the WBC then released a statement saying that if Andrew Ruiz Jr. or any professional fighter entered next year's Olympic Games, then they would put a two-year sanctioning ban on any professional fighter from participating in any WBC sanctioned bouts. Now, Lennox Lewis and Vladimir Klitschko, of course, both of these have become Olympic gold medalists at super heavyweight. And of course, both of these guys have reached the top of their division um, at heavyweight in the professional game. So both of these guys ruled their particular eras for quite some time. And both of these guys have a totally different mindset when it comes to professional athletes returning to the amateurs to participate in the Olympic Games. And these guys don't really say anything that I didn't already give my opinion on a week or two ago, whenever that, um, it was that um, I did those videos. Both of these guys said pretty much the same things that I said, but we'll get into it. Starting off with Lennox Lewis. Professional fighters should not be fighting in the Olympics against amateur fighters. Someone could seriously get hurt. You don't play boxing like other many Olympic sports. This is a very bad idea. Hashtag my two cents. So, yeah, of course, when you look at the Olympic Games, there are plenty of sports that they play, but it's not contact sport. Okay, so of course, when you're talking about boxing and all other kind of things, yes, of course. Of course. I mean, for me, I can totally get what it is that Lennox Lewis is saying. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko then responds to Lennox Lewis and says, Nonsense. As a matter of fact, all of the pros lost in the Olympics uh, from Rio. A professional fighter is in a clear disadvantage if he fights in an amateur ring and under amateur rules. I've practically spent hundreds of rounds sparring with the amateurs. I know what I'm talking about. So that was Vladimir Klitschko's response. And of course, Lennox Lewis then responded with, I understand that there are inexperienced pros that may not be able to compete with the Olympic, with the elite amateurs. But once you open this box, where do you draw the line? I can't think of any world-class fighter in any division that would be at a disadvantage against an amateur. So again, Lennox Lewis's opinion. So both of these guys are totally different. Lennox Lewis is saying no professional fighter should enter the Olympics. Vladimir Klitschko saying complete opposite. Now, to be fair to both of these guys, which is what I said, said um, um, about a minute or so ago, that I've pretty much covered what it is that these guys have said a couple of weeks ago, where for me, um, an Olympic, uh, sorry, a elite amateur going up against a professional, the elite amateur would have the advantage because the professional and the and the amateurs and Olympic style is totally different style of fighting. It's a different point system, all that kind of thing. So it'd be quite difficult for a professional, especially a seasoned professional, to adapt into the amateur game. It's very, very difficult for them to do that. Um, but ultimately, Lennox Lewis is also correct, where he says that it's a disadvantage. Because at the end of the day, when you look at the professional fighters now, they had their chance to go to the Olympics. They had their chance to achieve Olympic gold, silver, bronze, or, or whatever it may be. They had their chance to win world championships. They had their chance, but they decided to stop it and then go into the professional game. So for me, from that point of view, I think, well, if you turned your back on it and then turned professional, well, unlucky, you missed out on your opportunity. And all the amateurs who are coming through now and they're learning their trade, etc., etc., their ultimate goal is to go to the Olympics and win a medal. If you win a medal, of course, then when, when you turn over as pro, you're going to be getting decent offers from promotional companies and managers, etc., to turn pro with them. And therefore, you're going to get a lot of um, hype about you and, of course, money. So, in, in a sense, with professional fighters who may have already been there and done that, okay, and have also achieved at uh, professional level. These guys are, are experienced fighters. So you're reducing the chance of an amateur for winning a title um, at the Olympics. Not to say that the amateur wouldn't win it, because as I said before, because of the styles, but it is a disadvantage, in my opinion, for the professional in one way, but in another way, a professional fights day in, 
day out. Small gloves, no head guard, all that kind of good stuff. So they are much more adept to worrying about and avoiding big punches coming through, being a lot more tactical than maybe an amateur. Okay, because with an amateur, if you've got big ass gloves on and you've got headgear on and all that kind of stuff, you don't worry about kind of big shots and you just go in there and just try and land a jab, a body shot, all that kind of thing. And of course, if you get hit hard enough, then the referee will give you a standing count as well, which doesn't really happen in the professional game either. So there's pl plenty of pros to it, plenty of cons for it as well. But of course, if a professional did enter the amateurs, especially if they're an elite um, um, a professional, then of course that will bring a lot of publicity, which means a lot more money for the Olympic Games, which ultimately, which is why I think that the Olympics are doing it, which is why, why they're allowing it. For me, I think that retired professionals, sure, why not? Why can't you go back into the amateur scene? Why not? Um, but if you're currently a world champion or considered an elite fighter, first of all, why would you need to go to the Olympics? I mean, don't get me wrong, having an Olympic gold medal on your resume is pretty damn good, right? But ultimately, you're already earning a hell of a lot of money. Why do you need to go do that? Whereas these, these amateurs, this is their gateway. This is the key to the gateway to end up into the big time. And a professional will hit, in my opinion, probably a hell of a lot harder and a lot more accurate as well. So whereas the amateurs may be going for points and this, that, and the other, an amateur, especially if you're a big puncher, He's going to go for the knockout. They know exactly how to set you up and how to drop you, how to hurt you and all that kind of stuff. So for me, I understand both points of view. I really do. But of course, you guys drop me your point of view below. I mean, I'm more on the side of Lennox Lewis in this particular situation. To be honest with you, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be. I'd rather be on the side of Vladimir Klitschko because I think um, Lennox Lewis is nothing short of a hater lately. But it is what it is. But for me, as far as the Olympic goes, I do agree with Lennox Lewis. But... I, th um, I do feel that Vladimir Klitschko is raising a couple of good points. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.